so let's take an overview of soul. Soul really is the gateway for you with the whole of your existence. Soul's the part of you that knows exactly who you are, that is helping you to navigate life, to head in the right direction at the right time with the right people around you. Soul's interested in helping you fulfil your purpose. Your purpose is their purpose, is impactful and beneficial to the whole of your existence. Soul really does help drive you forwards. And being able to hear soul and his soul's influence in the team, your collective conscious team, is so important because it brings you that unaffected, unbiased um, direction, information, opinion even, that's not affected by society. It's like being, I call it newsreader mode. When you're in newsreader mode or you're listening to a newsreader, they're being quite kind of down to earth, uh, quite matter of fact. And that's how I would describe soul. When soul's working in their optimum light, in their optimum strength and support for you, they are an incredible part that will take you exactly where you need to be. They will help you with timing. They will help you with resources, um, you know, where to look. They'll help you with ideas. You know, soul really does uh, come from a very productive, motivator, driven place that just wants to help you move forward and achieve all you can achieve and to fulfill your purpose. And that's why having soul as part of the group, as part of the team, is so important because it really does offset any negative aspects that come into the collective. Um, such as fear and uh, such as worry and anxiety and stress and overwhelm. Soul's the part that's going, it's okay, we're safe, we're secure, we're looked after, we're being supported, we're going in the right direction, we've got the right things around us that we need right now, you know, don't need to worry. That's the part of us that's trying to keep us in balance from any negativity that's kind of fed into the group from outside or from within even. So soul really can take us forward. And if occasionally we let soul take the lead, we can go to a really productive place. If if you were to have a an important meeting or interview coming up where you felt quite nervous um, and worried about what you were going to say, were you going to say the right things? Perhaps you're doing some public speaking and coming across in a professional way, uh, saying all the right things that you need to say is actually, you know, really important uh, to your purpose of being there. Having soul forward, letting soul into your centre and taking the lead in moments like that is such a productive place to be because, you know, soul will carry out the task unabated, without any fear. Uh, soul's fearless. And, and just wants to help move you forward. So sometimes soul can be affected by other aspects of your existence. And that's always something that we can explore when we're working with soul as a part of the collective conscious in this way. But when soul's properly on it and you're allowing soul to be that influence and the, and the group, the team are allowing soul to be that influence that you need, my golly, it can change things for you and help really move you forwards very quickly. Finding the path of least resistance, I think, is really important. But soul cannot come forward and help you if the other parts of your collective conscious are dominant. You know, if you have parts of you that are dominating your centre and taking over, soul will not interfere and you know eject them from the center soul will step back and allow you to learn and learn what you need to do to get yourself into this place of balance soul really is supportive of your learning because ultimately that's in your highest interest and that's what's really driving soul is working in your highest interest soul's not always going to give you things on a plate 
um, soil's going to let you learn and because that will really have a deeper impact on how you can move forward in your future and your strength and your knowledge and your wisdom. So, you know, soul working with them uh, is a gateway to to your intuition. You know, we're we're looking at the collective conscious here as a means of supporting your perceptions, your interpretations of intuitive information that comes through to you. So you're seeing it and reading it, so to speak, at depth. So it's not just surface level, flat, you know, fairly scant of detail and depth. You know, when you're working with your collective conscious as a team, you're getting that perspective at depth. You're getting so much more information. And when you have more information, you can work far better in your highest interests. And that can make a real difference to your decisions and choices moving forwards. So seeing soul a little bit as the gateway is the bridge that bridges you in this reality, perhaps to the rest of your existence and, and really who you are and you know your true extent of wisdom and knowledge that you carry through your existence and all those other lifetimes that you have a signature within. Soul has that oversight, that overview, and that's the part that can make such a difference to how we feel. We feel confident that we're doing the right things at the right time, in the right way. That's where it comes from. So um, that's soul. See soul really as the driver of the team, the motivator, um, the strength and confidence of the team. And you won't go far wrong. <laughs>